Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Divine Divinity. Last time, Jeanne was testing out her newfound wizard sight and seeing if she could uncover any of the secrets of the castle from without. Um, wasn't very successful, although she has a strange feeling there might be a skate park somewhere under there. Um, as she talked to a few interesting guards and discovered those further mysteries to be uncovered in the farmlands as there appear to be problems with the harvest. Let's talk to um, Tom again. We can't offer to help Tom still with the cattle rustling problem, which is weird. Um, yeah, we can't seem to help. Whereas we seem to help offer help to lots of other people um, on a spur of a whim. These two people who seem to have uh, real practical and emotional problems, um, we, we can't offer help to. Well, here's a... Uh, a field. I wonder if we can wander in a field. Let's give it a little save. Are we inside? We're inside. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Scarecrow. How do they light it up like that? It must be magic. They. Oh, they seem to turn to face you. Intriguing. Okay, well, crops do look patchy around here. I can understand why. Uh... Hail, Rufus! Leave the farmland, stranger. Too many bad things have been happening around here of late. I don't know if you're part of it, but either way, you best be kicking off the dust of this place. Kicking off, best off kicking the dust of this place from your heels. You seem worried, friend. Tell me what ails thee. Well, it might not seem like much, but I saw a queer man lurking near my cornfield. Dressed all in black he was, and I got the impression he was looking for something. Or someone. Didn't like his manner, not at all I didn't. You saw a man walking through the cornfields, is that all that's got you so jumpy? There was something wrong about him, stranger. Fair sent shivers down my spine, I've seen plenty of killers in my time. You, for instance. You're not wrong. But this fellow was no mercenary or soldier. This one was a viper in a man's skin, if ever I saw one. I only spoke a few words to him, but I saw he was the type to cut a man's throat just for the fun of watching him flop about. Steer clear if you want my advice. Do you have any troubles round here? Ah, oh, poor original's young son was killed by a troll. The brute tore the poor boy to shreds while his wounded father could only look on. His fair broken poor old Ridge's heart. I don't wander far from the shelter of such with such beasts lurking around. A fit man can outrun a troll if he has a head start, but you have to spot him coming. Too, they do tend to jump out on you. Uh, I'll speak with you again. Farewell. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's have a look in that cornfield, I guess. Alright, I don't think there was anything of interest in this field. Oh, oh, there's a blooming spider. That was annoying. Alright. Oh. There's a cracked crossbow, apparently. Somewhere. Where is it? Hey. <laughs> Spiders. Um. Here? Here. Oh, there we go. Got it. I think that's probably about the same quality as the one we bought, isn't it? Oh no, it's not as, not as, uh, it doesn't have as much durability. Oh, so we could sell that for a little bit of money at some point. Fancy leaving you a crossbow in the field. Let's see if we can get away with closing the game. We do, can, yes. Okay. That's a win for the country code. Um, refuse, compost. Okay, so we're looking. Oh, there's another house here. Okay, let's have a look at the occupant of this house. <clears throat> Was it a barn? Oh, it is. Buzz! Fantastic. But holy gods! Sheath the weapon, friend, you might hurt someone. Oh, I didn't mean to make you nervous, friend. 
Hello there, young lady. What are you doing wandering across the countryside? Hello, friend farmer. Any gossip going about? General Alex rode through here a few days ago. What a woman. She's the best warrior and tactician in three generations, so they tell me. I wonder what it's like to be her husband. Thank you for your time, good farmer. I'm through with Buzz. Uh, but, so there's hay. I might be able to have a nap. What do you reckon Buzz would say to that? Well, then that's Buzz's house? I mean, if it's Buzz's house, then... Oh, he kind of lives in the stables. Buzz, do you mind if I have a little nap here? Be my guest, little lady. Oh. I guess Buzz doesn't approve. Uh, maybe we can talk later, Buzz. Oh, you had a cow. You've got several. How's your harvest looking? Uh oh. I uh, should probably shut that gate, otherwise Buzz will be a bit, be a bit mad at me. Okay, so you've got a large... Um... Hang on, here's a teleporter. <laughs> it stacked up with straw in Buzz's field. Alright, well we found that one. That's good. It was worth wandering around aimlessly. Straw. So I think straw you can um, bale and unbale, um, but you can only sleep in hay. That's what I've, I've come to a conclusion of. Oh, hi cat. Can't talk to that cat. All oh, right. Well, cool. So that's that's one objective ticked off. Um, close the gates of the camera before Buzz gets ticked off. Yeah, those ones close properly. Easier than some doors I've tried to close. Um, hi, kitty. So let's actually put some people on our map, because that would be helpful. So I want this. This is Buzz. Ah, there you go. Teleport up. Mark this cell, which is handy. So this is Buzz. Um, what was that little thing just north? Oh, it's just the mushrooms, isn't it? That looks different on the map, doesn't it? Ruined armor. Oh, okay. Armor. Oh, it re uh, really s ruined beyond beyond use. Interesting. Um, oh, it's like an orchard here. That's nice. So, ah, this is Rufus. So let's put a pin in Rufus. Oh, okay. Um, the farmlands are rotten to the core. It used to be a beautiful place. There still is to look at, but the real beauty that used to be at the heart of these lands is gone. Something evil has befallen my home. It's become a sinister place. You still seem to be worried, friend Rufus. What disturbs you? There's still that man in the field. Okay, I'll go and have a look. Um, I don't know, but this looks like an orchard, but this could be his cornfield, I suppose. Um, oh, so I need to enter that, and then let's have a look. So we've had a look at, we haven't had a look at um, this little central bit here. That's the inn, Blue Boar Inn, that's the Blue Boar Inn. And then we we met um, the farmers who lived there. There's quite a lot, actually, isn't there? All right, well, it might be worth some more investigation. Let's have a look in this field. Is this the one? You just specifically said it was your cornfield. I think corn is what is being uh, uh, poisoned, potentially. Oh, hello. Oh, this is the bus with the person. Crawler. Well, there you go. That's a very nice name. Um, let's talk to Crawler. What are you doing here? Get out. Um, very well. Oh. Uh, very well. Crawler, what are you doing here? Okay, alright. So that's, that's the person. What's, what's going, what's occurring, Crawler? Oh, it's one item here, what's this? 
Some chicken meat. Let's have it. Cool, huh? Hmm. We can't. So one thing about this game is I love all the different ways you can physically interact with the worlds. Like the wizard site is an amazing ability to, to put into a game, but um, I wish there were a few more social options as well. So even if we couldn't really get anywhere with Crawler, we could, we could attempt something, couldn't we? That would be nice. Alright, so there's... Um, I guess I can put a flag in Crawler, can't I? Let's do that. I don't know what... So I'm assuming there's another piece of information that we're going to need to find out to, to get anywhere with Crawler. Uh, so this house we probably haven't been to. Oh, a pumpkin patch. Nice. I'm not going to take those pumpkins. But it's nice to see them. So this... Does this house have an entrance? Maybe on the, the far wall? And gates? Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a, it's a barn. Oh, is this the barn where we could have a sleep? Oh, somebody, yes, I remember somebody telling us about um, getting rid of rats before we have a sleep. Um, it doesn't look like we could. Sleep here. I don't think. There's no hay. Oh! Ah, now there's hay. This is no time to sleep. Well, I'm not going to hold the rats just for now. Oh, hello, what's going on? I'm trying to hold the rats. I guess maybe the game automatically classed them as enemies? A trick gate again. Alright, it's another uh, pumpkin headed. Uh, oh, the water, interesting. Anything in the mouth? No. Alrighty. Well, that's that field. Cheerio guards. Um, I'm just there's like a waterway here. I wonder where that goes. Look the lush um, score in this part of the countryside. Like, um, like all the music videos, it's very evocative. Oh, hello. Still covered. Interesting. Looks like farrier's equipment, maybe? Oh, that's the other side of the field of quarters. Okay. So what's this field? Oh, that's the chicken coop. So it's about halfway along the the, the wall to the uh, the find of the castle. Okay, nothing of interest there that I can see. You know, what, 
if we're going to have a nap, we can maybe have a nap here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oh, now it's night time. Should we go and see if we can get anything out of Crawler at night time? Now, where was Crawler? Here. Okay. Is it night time or is it rosy finger dawn? That's the question. It's a bit of crawler. Okay. Yeah, sure. Cool. Should I talk to, to Rufus again? Cool says get out. Oh, sorry. Um, yep, yeah, no. Okay, that didn't help. But we got our health and magic back, so we're in good we're in good stead for whatever happens next. Hopefully. Oh, right, let's have a look at. There's this big field here. Is this the cow field? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, oh, and there's a big field here. Let's have a look at this one. This could be the one that's um, having harvest troubles. Can I? Oh. Self opening doors. So, looking for a clue, really. So this could be Hugh and Ellie's field, couldn't it? It's definitely sizable. Oh! Oh no! There's a... Why is there a... What's in this pit? Whoa! Hang on. Whoa, that was close, and I did panic slightly. Um, phew, what, what was all that about? A key? A locked chest? What was going on here? That was nice. So someone was looking for this treasure, and they got killed by the snakes. Oh my. Well that was unexpected and I don't think it's anything to do with the, the failed harvest. Um, but I guess I'll go and report back to Hugh and Ellie because that's... That's disturbing. And all for a hundred gold as well. I mean, I, th I think I've met skeletons who carried less as pocket change. So this, I think, is Hugh and Ellie's house. Which I should probably mark on my map. Um, let's go inside first. There you are, guys. Oh, there's a little well outside as well. Interesting. Okay, you. Listen, friend, I'm currently very busy overseeing the fattening of an ox. Please state your business. Um, what's wrong with your harvest? Um. Okay, so there's no there's no new cues there. Um, more about the harvest. Okay. 
Okay. So what field is yours then, guys? I wonder. Is there anything? Are there any further fields up here? I feel like this might be the end of the farmland. Yeah, this is the tree line, isn't it? What? Oh, hello. Why is there just a random corpse here? Well, that's not good in broad daylight. Take the quarter star. Oh, oh dear. Well, I mean, there are some significant problems around here. Stay away from the tree line, I suppose. Okay, well that's interesting. Oh, okay, more fields. Washing tub, a stone bottle. This is a massive area. Let's have a look in this field. No. Don't let the cows out, it's happened before. Oh, come on. Just a quick run around, maybe no cows will escape while we're doing a quick reconnoitre. No, I think we're good. Okay, let's go before the cows get out. Oh no, I opened both of them. Um, I understand why they kind of open when you move, but I prefer it if you could just choose to uh, switch up and close them. They'd be much more helpful. Alright, we've had a proper look at this field either. Oh, there's a person to talk to. I'll come back to you in just a sec. Alright, I think there's a gate around here somewhere. Is there a gate around here somewhere? Where is the gate to this one? There it is. Hey, we did it. Fantastic. Alright, anything? Anything came on over here? No. It kind of makes sense that there wouldn't be much going on around here. Really, I mean, it's, it's a land mostly occupied with farming, um, so it makes sense that's what would be going on. Okay, so who's this person outside the house? Keldon. Long time ago, I used to be an adventurer like you. I met a lot of interesting people on the road. Yes, those were wonderful times indeed. You've been an adventurer. But you're an old man. Adventurers don't get old and weak. They fill honourable graves before they get white hairs. Um, let's say I'd like to hear one of your adventures. Well, let's see. I've been to many exotic places. Do you want to hear the tale of the Assassin's Hunt? Or of the adventure of the Cursed Abbey? Um, Cursed Abbey? I think we're probably near there, aren't we? Well, one of Duke Farrell's cronies paid me to take a sealed message into the dreadful Cursed Abbey. Yes, what happened next? I hurried to get there and away as quickly as I could. I'm a brave man, but that place was a, has a very black reputation, but I was young and reckless in these days. In those days, I should say. Otherwise, I would have thought twice about such a mission and spat it back in the fop's face. Anyway, I realised my mistake when I passed through the ancient portal. Uh, a damn place was crawling with the undead. I never could stand walking corpses. It just ain't natural. You know, in my experience, you kind of get used to them. Please go on with your story. I, well, the stinking undead attacked me, but I was too quick for them, and lay uh, to lay. F I was too quick for them to lay a rotten hand on me. Luckily, I'd brought a large vial of holy water with me. I bought it off a young priest. So you used the vial of holy water to get rid of the creatures. Who's telling this story? May I ask you or me? Anyway, yes. I sprayed the holy water over them, and it burned them away like vitriol. They vanished like wax mannequins in a baker's oven. Drop that seal on that steel message on the staircase. Gods alone know who or what it was for, and left that cursed place like a rat out of a dog kennel. Never been back since, never will again, neither, if I can help it. Take care.
Interesting. Can you tell me your other story? Um, Assassin's Hunt? Well, several years ago, I was hunted by a group of assassins. It was over a bad gambling debt or some such trifle. Anyway, I was walking down a dark river town alleyway when two dropped down behind me and two in front. Silent as death laughter they were, but I sensed they were there before they could strike. Go on, what happened next? I drew my twin pearl-handled scimitars and charged the two in front. Caught them by surprise. They'd used... They got used to fat city merchants who cowered and offered bribes in the face of death. But I was a born killer, just like them. Cut down the two of them in a single strike. Low belly cuts the best way to take on armored opponents down in restricted space, I've always found. But the other two were right on my back before I could jerk my swords free. What happened? I stopped the story at the best part. A strange wizard appeared out of nowhere, standing over me as I was crouched, hauling my swords at the first two backstabbers. I thought he was another of them. But the next moment, the two remaining assassins were screaming pillars of flame. A wizard helped you out of trouble. Did he know you? I already said that he was a stranger to me. Don't interrupt. He looked very confused and walked past me without saying a single word. I stood in the alleyway, blood splashed everywhere and lit by burning corpses. I just couldn't believe my luck. I spent the rest of the night getting drunk. The next morning, with a sneaking handover, I killed the bugger who sent the assassins after me. Take care. Interesting. I feel like both those stories might have little hints of something for us. This oh, sorry, mini map. I'm assuming there's a way for me to uh, get into this building. Um, okay, it's a barn. That's cool. Can I rest here? Because I kind of need a rest after all my uh, exertions. No, chicken cube it is. Um, that's interesting. So if I have a look at the uh, the big map, how close am I to places I've been before? Well, you know what? I'm not that close to the river, am I? So, there could still be even more farmland. We've definitely got to the north of it. Um, what's that? Oh, there's the garden is there. That's interesting. So we're really close to that. And we're not far from the merchants either. The world is starting to feel a lot smaller than it once did. Interesting. Um, all right, back to the chicken coop before we sleep. Ah, oh, much better. Well, let's see if there's anything else we can find in the farmlands before we head south. It would be nice to, to solve the problems of what's going on here, if we can contribute in some way. Okay, another field and a path. Let's have a look. So I see there's going to be a person around here somewhere. Oh. Oh, who's this? Greetings to you, stranger. I hope you're not the one of them villains who attacked honest tradesmen travelling the roads these days. Greetings, traveller. Worry not. You have nothing to fear from me. If you behave yourself, what's your business in this region? Good morrow, sir. I'm no bandit, and I hope you can say the same. I'm not in a trusting mood these days, so perhaps you'll want to tell me about your purpose travelling these dangerous roads. Good day, sir. Alas, I am hard pressed just now and can't waste time gabbling on the road. So, um, cheeky. Uh, or a bit cautious, a bit cautious. My name is Alan, Alan the Trader. I'm a travelling merchant and I supply the farmers with any of the wares they call for. Maybe you're also interested in buying something? No? Alas, the farmers hereabouts aren't in the mood for purchasing either. The recent troll attacks, you know, the farmers are likely to be driven out, of, driven out of the land if that continues. So naturally they don't think of anything else. Well, that ain't good for my business. Troll attacks? Oh, hi. Go talk to the to the farmer Homer. Don't remember Homer. 
you want to hear about the damn trolls, this farm is east to the bridge that connects the farmlands with Alaroth. Uh, east of the bridge? Or maybe you should go talk to Reginald, the poor bastard lost his son to the trolls lately. Luck has not allowed a few insights for any who seek to harm the stinking beasts. Um, yes, I might. And another thing, if you stay on this road you'll come to the cursed abbey. Be cautious as a cat in a kennel near that place, for many strange and horrible tales from them as been too close. Strongly advise you to give up the abbey a wide berth, but of course it's up to you. Right, enough to have to visit a lot more farmers this day. Farewell. Okay. Um... Before you leave, can I have a look at your wares? Nice, okay. Can we sell you some stuff? There's, um, I'd be up for that. So, these two I want to keep, I think, and that I don't want to keep, so you can have that. You can have that. Um, oh, you don't have a lot of money. Well, let's just sell that then. Alright, have you got any? Oh, we've got potions and stuff. That's good. Um, I don't think you like to have oh. all crafters heavy heavy leather gloves arm sixty. That might be better than what I've got. And then I love the purple. I don't they chew up on our character, but okay. Well, you've actually got lots of stuff, haven't you? Sturdy heavy, heavy leather, leather gloves. That was hard to say. Well, I might trade for those actually. Um, uh, can I? Oh, oh no, I want to do that. There we go, that's how I was doing. So let's get those. Um, and I'll pop in this. Okay, that's way too much, so I'll take that out. Um, and then, okay, that does work. Fair enough. Um, oh, maybe chuck in a few potions as well, why not? Um, healing magic? Sure. Let's take three of each. For a Okay, so I think we've worked out. I'm going to get some potions and some gloves uh, for training my old worn gloves. And the crossbow and staff we found and paying a little bit of cash. Thanks. Okay, that was a one-time encounter, wasn't it? Interesting. So there's a farm called Home we might want to talk to. So door around here, was it in? So it sounds like we're probably quite close to the uh, the Abbey too, which is not. Oh, that was a person. Oh, 